Hello viewers. Today I wanted to tell you something about a nomenclature which is commonly used in research. Placebo and sham. You might have come across these words like placebo control trial, sham controlled procedures, all these things you might have come across. Um, I have not researched so far was there any difference between placebo and sham, this nomenclature as such, but uh, happened to do that a few days back. So just wanted to share with you uh, whether you know or uh, it is only me who thinks that uh, it is something uh, unique. So this word placebo and sham are being interchangeably used in research. Sometimes even physical therapy people used to uh, name this placebo control trial. Is it right or is it wrong uh, in doing that? Or is there an alternative that can suit better than placebo? That is what we are going to see. So what is meant by placebo? So if you are going trying to test efficacy of an intervention, okay, so that intervention, the feel of getting treated by the patient, the patient always gets this uh, limbic uh, influence, right? When we get treated for something, we always feel better, even if the treatment is wrong or right. So placebo means even though there is no clinical efficacy of that intervention, the patient's feel of getting treatment brings about some changes in their uh, uh, signs and symptoms. Uh, that is called as placebo. placebo. So when we have to use this name placebo, only when there is a drug or an, uh, any medicinal substance that is involved in the treatment of a patient. So placebo are inactive substances used to compare results with active substances. This active substance and inactive substance look similar, but they don't have the same effect. One has an uh, effect and another one has no effect. Okay, so for drug, for injection, um, for any ointment, medical substances, you can use this name placebo. But when it comes to physical therapy modality, what we have to use is the sham. Sham treatment. Sham is the doctor goes through the motions without actually performing the treatment. For example, if you are giving an IFT or TENS, or if you are giving some exercise which uh, actually do not um, intend to give the same effect of the treatment which you have you are treating. So that is called as sham treatment. Okay. For example, I will um, TENS you are giving for low back pain patients, which is uh, for a given duration, you're going to check that efficacy of the tens on the patients. So here, one side, you'll be giving a group of patients with the actual intended tailor-made protocol for tens. And the other side, you will give uh, patients uh, somewhat an electrical stimulation, which mimics like tens, but actually it is not the tens. Uh, it might be a Faraday current or a galvanic current, or even in the tens, it might be uh, not the protocol which is being tested but the patient will always feel like he's getting treated. So it's unethical, but uh, in order to avoid uh, the influence of the patient's placebo or sham effect, you have to use such things. It, it becomes mandatory sometimes. sometimes. So uh, to sum up, placebo can be used when there is any medical drug is involved, uh, substances involved. Sham can be used uh, when you are using some procedure or any drug is not involved in the treatment. I'll give you an example for that. You can see, are all placebo effects equal? Placebo pills, he's using placebo for pills, whereas he's using sham for acupuncture. So uh, acupuncture is a, a procedure, it's not a medicine. So he used word sham for acupuncture and placebo for pills. Okay, so uh, why this becomes so important uh, is, the, uh, there was a study in uh, very recent time, 2019, which clearly stated that inadequate description of placebo and sham control in systematic review of recent trials. So when you, whenever you are mentioning about the intervention, you have to be very specific about the intervention, uh, what you're giving for your patients and how you define placebo and sham in that. that this differentiation should be very important. For this, uh, the conclusion of the study was placebo and sham controls are poorly described within randomized control trials. So thank you so much. Uh, if you if you are, if you're all aware of these points, I'm sorry for uh, repeating it again. But if there's a new information, give a like and share this uh, information to others.
Thank you. Thank you so much.